What's up guys, I'm Calvin. What's up, I'm Jax, we got a new channel. And we don't have a name. <laughs> okay, so we don't have a name for it. So, all right, Jax's gonna tell you guys a little bit about our channel, what it's gonna be about. All right guys, just give me a brief overview of what's going on. So we just picked up this Miata for $1,000, as you can see. Already molded wide body, on bags, one of one. You know what I'm saying, you feel me? Uh, so we're gonna walk you through the process of what we're gonna do to make this thing into a show car. All right, so if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it'd be SRT Killer B. And I'm at Mergleton. We'll keep it uh, somewhere over here and over here. Um, you do realize I'm in the video right now, right? That's fine, bro. Yeah, we're <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go over what we drive. I drive a 2013 5.0. That's really bright. That's a little bit better. 2013 5.0. Um, it's wide-bodied by True Fiber. Um, it's on airlift. It's got the V2. It's a little, a little older uh, management. Got a half cage. My car R33 seats. True fiber goodies. Stuff and things. Um, Battle arrow wing. It's a fully built illuminator motor. Pro charger F1A. Custom headlights. Servini's hood. Ferrata, I just picked these up. Ferrata, um, the FR8s, I believe they are. Or FR5, I don't remember. Dude, stop farting. All right, Jack, tell me about your car. All right, this view right here is a 1990 Mazda Miata, one of one. It's about 50 shades of every color you can imagine. It's a primer. It's got the 1.6 motor in it, which is the old sturdy steed. Can't go wrong with it. Never goes wrong on you, as long as you treat it with a beer. You feel me? Alright. What else is on the car? It starts now, though. It does start now. <laughs> new battery. That's all you gotta do. Battery, uh, terminals, and new battery, and you're set. So right now it's on air ride. Still working on the wiring to finish it up. We're also running negative 18 camber on it, with a pretty crazy wheel setup. Once we can find something that we may fit. Um, it's got a molded wide body. You don't really see too often on these cars, so hopefully that's another neck turner. Uh, the interior right now, we've got everything pulled out, just so we can run through some wiring. The last one of this car, unfortunately, <laughs> didn't... Dick's in the thing, dude. <laughs> what's what's, what's on, on the floor. interior? What's, what, what have you done? What have we done so far since we got the car? So in the interior, so far, we pulled out the carpet, the driver's seat, and we've actually just got this car to air up and to start. So hopefully within the next week I get the carpet out of the passenger side and the seat. And then I can bedline the floors and put the new carpet in. Word. Um, what else do we have to do before we start actually modding the car? Unfortunately, when you buy a thousand dollar car, there's <laughs> a lot of work you gotta do to it. So right now we have to do body work's okay, but there are some parts that have to be bonded. Um, We're probably gonna fill this hole too. You see some of the cracks on the fenders. Just isn't a bad thing, we can take care of it, hopefully. <clears throat> um, other thing is I gotta put together the interior after we pulled it apart, then just spray some of the inside pieces black so when it's wrapped, uh, you won't see this ugly bondo. But uh, the color we're gonna do is a secret, you'll find out soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it on the Mazda Turk. Okay. By the way, we're also at my shop, uh, my own Empire Vinyl, and we got some good friends here over there. Um, this is where we do most of our work. That's where I built my car. Uh, we're building jacks, obviously. We got a few other cars over here, some customers, uh, and some friends for storage. Um, so you might know Andrew from my, from my other channel that I kind of slept on. And here he is, if anybody knows him. What's up, guys? My man broke his, uh, broke his wrist yesterday, snowboard, two days ago snowboarding, or yesterday. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Uh, I'll show you Andrew's car as well. He has a 2018 5.0, which is pretty dope. We finished wrapping it, um, I think August it was, before Mustang week. Same thing with my car. His car was done right before mine. We finished mine in like two days. So, uh, I'll show you his. His car is pretty sick. Flip this around. Jeez, he drives like a Mustang owner, you know how it is. All my Mustang owners out there, all his friends. Ah, 
action. What's up, guys? I'm Andrew, uh, driver 2018, Mustang, uh, 5.0. Uh, picked it up a couple months ago. Uh, sadly, it does have the six-speed <laughs> transmission. I know, messed up. Uh, just, it seems like you're it's struggling, so what, what's done to the car? Well, <laughs> exterior-wise, so, or performance-wise first, do performance-wise, because you don't so have much. There's not much done to the car. I only have like an exhaust and an intake. Uh, what kind of intake, what kind of exhaust? Oh, pop the hood, pop the hood, actually. Now, Andrew, quick question. Uh, what would you say this thing puts the wheels? Solid 2.6, 250, 260. 250 is reputable. I got 90 from the auto. Oh, can you, uh, oh, geez, dude, 2018, man. bro, we still have hood props, you know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ, that thing weighs more than 3,000 pounds, too. Ready? Rest her in there. Oh, baby. It fits like a There's a sick intake, though. Uh, what brand is it? So, this is the Roush uh, Power Pack intake. So I got the intake with a Roush X-Pipe to axle back, and uh, performance-wise, that's all I have done to it. Other than that, everything else is cosmetic, like uh, 3M dark gray uh, wrap, well, satin dark gray wrap, uh, Anderson Composites carbon fiber fenders. I wrapped over them because it didn't really look good with the car. I did leave the carbon overlay, uh, like the carbon parts here for the vented. Fender uh, GT350 style, Anderson Composites GT350 style carbon rear wing. Um, got tinted tail lights. Um, did some black. Actually, they're painted. Yeah, painted tinted tail lights. So what they do is they add a little bit of gloss black or a little bit of black into the clear, um, and then they spray them, and it gives it a tinted uh, effect to it. It's pretty dope. Wheel setup I have. Um, actually, I, the story behind these wheels is. Uh, one of my friends uh, over at Long Island Tire was contacted by Niche and they wanted to do a photo shoot with like a domestic vehicle and he didn't have any so he you know gave him a list of people uh, gratefully enough like they hit me up they were like hey like we like your car we want to put the wheels on do a photo shoot I was like pull them down uh, so these are a prototype one of one uh, they weren't even released yet to the public when they, we put them on and uh, we did the photo shoot, they let me keep the wheels after, and I've been rocking ever since. I, I like it, it definitely like adds an impressive look to the car, but it's like subtle at yeah, the same time. Yeah, the fitment's pretty tight. Because I got the uh, Cervini, like kind of grill delete, you could say, and this has full access, and I noticed that my engine, like the inlet air temp has definitely dropped down a lot because you're getting really high temperature. So anyone who does have an 18 and 19 Mustang, look into doing that. You're live, baby. Action. So like I was saying, the wiring was a mess. Uh, pretty much everything on this car was a mess. When you spend $1,000, you should expect the worst. I did not. So <laughs> I put a lot of money into it so far to get it this far, which is not much at all, as you can see. Uh, it's a Bondo mess with a very handsome driver. Uh, <laughs> so you'll see a lot of the content is going to be based off this bad boy. Um, I haven't came up with a name yet, so maybe if you guys have a name, shoot it in the comments. Hell yeah. So you'll see the process go along. We got the wrap. Um, I have a hood. Which we'll walk you over and show you the hood. Oh, oh damn. So I couldn't even tell you the name of this hood. The story behind it, I was on Facebook. Obviously the market, because I get pretty bored at work throughout the day. Some kid was selling this for 700. I hit him with 500, super low ball. He said, yeah, cool, can you be here tonight? Took the money, picked up my friend. We shot the PA, picked this bad boy up for $500. Make JDM great again. We hitting their jacket, those drugs. <laughs> Yo, life hack. Use a zip tie. It's so Scratch inside itchy. your cast. So the story behind this, it was 11 o'clock at night and he was pretty lonely. Um, I'm not going to say the rest, but obviously we all know. What happens, yeah. Just so, be uh, feel better, work. Andrew. Just don't shake my hand. Fucking <laughs> made car. What are we saying? Um, I'm sorry for the awkwardness. Oh well, fuck oh, you, yeah. Andrew. Yeah, Coming from the most awkward guy that rants on. Jesus yeah, dude. Christ, right? Seven this minutes guy. later, we gotta now we gotta edit seven minutes of video of Andrew talking about yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. nothing. Out of the whole video. All right, you're all right. right. If we're awkward, me and Jack, and possibly 100% definitely Andrew, <laughs> um, it's because we don't we've never done this before. Um, I've never sat in front of a camera like this, especially vlog style. I've done vlogs with Tucci. 
which does my Empire Vano vlogs, and it's like he holds the camera and I like speak. It was just a little different than this. I've only been in front of the camera once. Um, you guys can find that on the adult. <laughs> Yeah, he's a he's a star, you know. <laughs> uh, ever seen uh, Bucky Larson born to be a star? Uh, it's yours truly. You know, Jack's like that broke back mountain kind of guy. <laughs> I'm into anything. <laughs> um, like we said, before, <laughs> we can laugh. Like we said before, um, the editing is going to be very rough. We have not done this before, but over time it should get better. But no promises. <laughs> Do you remember what to say? Also, if you guys think, uh, <laughs> oh, just keep going. Uh, if you guys, if you guys think that there's anything you would like us to do, uh, content-wise or anything like that, because obviously we have the the Miyad, his project that's gonna be over the span of a few months. Um, probably actually would go a little bit quicker since we have the camera and we have more of like a motivation to do it. Um, that'll be mostly what we'll have content-wise. So if you have anything else you'd like us to see especially on my car or Andrew's car. And you're going to see a lot of our friends or people you know, around our town as well that are going to stop by the shop. Um, or you'll even go out to meets and stuff like that. Or meets is a good one. If you want us to film at meets or car shows that we'll be attending, um, just let us know. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. DMs if, you, if you'd like. Okay, okay, I like that, I like that. Let's just keep the negativity away. Um, we are trying very hard to be as good as possible. Um, like, comment, subscribe, obviously. Um, like I said, if you also want to follow our page, SRG Killer B, Mergleton, which doesn't mean that. We'll actually explain that tomorrow with, with Matt's car, which is the guy that works here. Um, yeah. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't have an ender, so uh, we're just going to end it here, all right?